With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Extrude action. With the Extrude action selected, you'll see a series of targets, then a series of modifiers down below. To start off, let's just select the Edge target. Now as you hover over an edge and move your cursor up and down, you'll notice that one of these polys next to this actual edge is getting highlighted. This will play a key role in determining which way the actual edge extrusion will take place. So if I'm clicking on this edge here and I have this top poly highlighted, when I click and drag to perform the actual extrude action, it's going to generate an effect like this. If I undo that process and now hover over an edge and have the lower poly highlighted and clicking and dragging now, will produce this kind of edge extrude. So depending on which poly you have highlighted as you're hovering over an edge will determine which way the actual extrude will happen. Now let's hover over an edge again and press spacebar. And now let's change the target to edge loop partial. Now with the edge loop partial target selected, when you actually apply the extrude, ZBrush is going to look at this actual edge loop and it's going to continue the extrude process until it reaches an extraordinary point or a point that does not connect to four edges. So this point right here connects to one, two, three edges. So when we perform this actual edge loop extrude right here with the partial selected, you'll notice that the extrude process has happened until it reached that actual point right there. Now if I undo that process and now do the edge loop partial on this edge through here, since this point here does connect to four edges, the edge loop partial will continue through that actual point. So clicking the edge loop partial here and dragging it out is going to continue that extrude along that actual edge there. Holding spacebar again, you have a few more targets you can actually select. You have poly loop, which will perform the edge extrusion based on poly loops on your actual model. You have edge loop complete, which will look at the complete edge loop. And then you have polygroup island, which will isolate the extrude based on the polygroup island on your actual mesh. Now in the modifiers, you have some interesting options down here. So we've been using the actual straight modifier right here. So I just have edge loop partial selected and the straight modifier. So if I come across my mesh and simply click and drag, it's going to perform the extrusion straight from that actual edge I clicked. Now if I undo that and then go back in here and change this actual modifier to rotate to 15 degrees. Now if I come across this actual edge and simply click to drag out, it's going to drag out in 15 degree intervals rotated around an actual pivot. So you can see here I'm getting these nice kind of 15 degree intervals of rotational value off that actual edge extrude. So this is interesting in creating you know different shapes so I can kind of extrude both these guys out and then come back up and make these kind of nice vents or panels on my actual model here. Now if you don't want the actual rotation to be in 15 degrees you can also set a custom rotation value as well. So by default it's set to 45 you can change this value here and when you actually apply that actual extrude to your mesh, it will rotate based on that angle. Now there's two little modifiers you can also use with this actual extrude action. So if you're clicking on the actual edge here and dragging out to perform the extrude, if you hold shift, it will actually detach the entire face from the actual model. So you can see here I have this face detached. Now this is not welding any of these points on the bottom, so if I come through and just use the smooth brush here, you can see this entire area is unwelded. So this is an interesting way to kind of generate new faces on your model and have them be semi-connected to your mesh. The other option, if I hover over this edge and click and drag again, if I hold the control action, it will actually perform a move function instead of the actual extrude. So this is very similar to the QMesh type feature. So holding control will give you a move function based on that extrude value and then hovering over that edge again and using shift will generate a duplicate version of that actual extrude. So using this edge extrude action you can come through and start manipulating actual areas on your mesh and then you can use it in tangent with the actual Q mesh action to start generating interesting designs or forms on your model.